I cannot believe I've been recording this entire time. Like, my audio recording was going on, and I didn't even have my camera on. I did a whole intro for you guys. <laughs> what is going on, everyone? This is Mr. Happy Go Lucky. Nice to see you. Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, welcome. As you guys know, I'm going to start doing this channel as a nostalgia trip. So we're going to make it a nostalgia trip. We're going to do movies you love or movies you think I love or movies you want me to love. We're going to do a little bit of everything on this channel. I've been looking forward to this one. We are going to do a post renaissance of Disney. So this is going to be a little difficult, this one, because I know um, a lot of people get weird about me watching something involving music. And this particular one might be get edited down because it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> We are going to be watching Disney's Fantasia 2000. I'm looking forward to this one. I'm really looking forward to this one. We're having Cheesecake Factory tonight. <laughs> Should be good. I'm really excited. It's Oreo, so this will be a good time. We will have a good time with this. Cheers to that. We are going to start a new era. We're here. We're doing it. Let's get it. Don't worry guys, once we settle into this new environment, we will have the cup and everything. It's gonna be a different vibe, but let's go on with this. Let's do it. Yay! <laughs> it's just so beautiful what they did with this movie. All these different like little clips of the original Fantasia and then combination of this. We love that for them. <laughs> This is how I'm feeling with this cheesecake right now. This music right here. Y'all, this is so good. <laughs> this is this is already like a mukbang, honestly. <laughs> so the purpose of this storyline is like the good versus evil, clearly. I love it when animation could tell you what is what and what it what it isn't, you know? <laughs> Steve Martin. Ashley Burton Thanks, loves this guy. Future ex husband of hers, I believe. Can I have my violin, please? Ah, thank you. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Can I have another thing, please? Oh, and camera back on me. <laughs> no, Steve. The camera's not going to go back on you. Also, can we talk about the composers behind them? They heard Steve Martin going off on a tangent, like, trying to be funny. And none of them laughed? At Northern Lights, that's something I want to see at least once in my life. The Northern Lights, just for once in my life, it'll be a bucket list goal for me, for sure. Oh, look at the baby. They're flying whales. That'll be the day, honestly, if whales knew how, like, the um, simulation of water ended. Whales could definitely fly. Not me trying to break the boundaries of nature. Those birds are bullies! Oh no, he's stuck in the glacier. Oh no! Oh, poor buddy, he's all alone. He's gotta find his way out. Also guys, let me know if you prefer front facing or side view. Because right now I do have it on a side view of the camera, so. Let me know what you guys think though. Aww. She looks sad. He could see her though, but she can't see him. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think this cheesecake survived the opening act. <laughs> We're all done now. Now, we can focus on the rest of the movie. Spotlight's on him. Oh, he's getting airlifted. No longer inside the glacier, look at him. I wonder if this is the same glacier that broke the Titanic. Isn't that just majestic? Y'all, this needs to get back to Back to basics, because I'm not saying this is basic, but come on. If Disney is capable of doing all these, like, Frozen sequels and stuff, they're more than capable to do something as amazing as this. This imagery is just absolutely stunning. I'm telling you, if whales break the stigma of swimming underwater, they could literally be flying right above us right now. At least baby boy's with his family now. Look at him, he's so happy he's flying with them. Aw, look at him. Maybe this is like, um, a cult following. Like, what if this is like, supposed to be 
an imagery of like Christianity and the family household of Christianity. That's getting way too deep in existential geo stop. I mean, am I wrong though? Look at it. Oh, that gave me chills. We're just gonna pretend I didn't bring that up. <laughs> it's Bebo! Peebo Bryson! I thought it was James Earl Jones, because I know he's in it, but I forgot that Peebo Bryson was in this. I loved his, um, Taylor's Oldest Time and, um, Holy World covers. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I know this one. This is one of my favorite ones. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to silence the heck out of this. I don't know about you guys, but the music in this segment. It reminds me of West Side Story, but also not West Side Story. It's just like a Bronx Tale. That's what I'm thinking about. The Bronx Tale. By the way, I haven't seen that movie. If you want me to watch it, hit me up in the comments and tell me to watch that movie, because I want to watch it. I've never seen it. Oh, oh, the kitty got stuck in the bottle. And he just stole that woman's donut. Life is too short to be in a rush. I mean, it, it definitely paid for your coffee that you weren't able to afford in the first place. And at least he keeps a smile on his face when he goes to work. Well, not necessarily. <laughs> The little girl looks like Lilo. Our BART system here in the Bay Area is just the same. I'm sure it's like that everywhere, including New York, but I don't know. It'd just be like that. Oh, this is reminiscent to Aladdin. Uh, only this time no one's trying to chop his hand off. Oh, well, I was wrong. <laughs> he almost batoned him. That was me when I was classically trained. <laughs> okay. Hmm. This guy just wants to live his life. Look at him, he's just mimicking a whole monkey and everything. Okay, so I guess the little girl Beatrice wishes to ice skate? Yeah, she wishes she was with her parents ice skating. That's a nice little dream. Like, honestly, if you've never done that with your parents, it must be a beautiful thing. He just wants to live his best life. Look at him. And what does homeboy want? To be a musician, right? Yep. We love that. And what does this guy want? He just wants to live his life. Yep. Oh. Clock in. You're up. Night shift. Very, very nice. We love that for you. Make that bank, fam. Oh. Mom and Dad saw it. Nice. Let's hear Hi. Hi. <laughs> ben Midler. I always say that there's always one segment that I love, and this is one of them, but I wouldn't say it's like in my top favorite. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, he thought that she had. Mm, we we hate it when we get misled. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh, well, he's on a little boat. That's okay. He's safe. Sort of. He's in the sewer. Oh, he done flew! Don't tell me he's about to get eaten by a fish. I was just kidding! I didn't... <laughs> I don't remember him getting eaten. Oh. Okay. We didn't get to see the gutting of the fish, right? Alright, take two. We got this. You got this, fam. Oh, they had a whole Lion King moment. Accurate depiction. My hero! <laughs> Literally. Perfect ending, though. These drawing boards have been the birthplace of some of those I knew he was going to show up. I just didn't know when. What would happen if you gave a yo-yo to a flock of flamingos? I <laughs> like the way he says yo-yo. A yo-yo. <laughs> Very impressive the way they animated this. The star? I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. They really thought they did something. Ah, uh, joke's on you. Ooh, don't do that. Don't do that, Mr. Sorcerer. You're gonna make me. That's contagious. And this is 1940. Compared to now, you know how it's contagious to be that long into it and to see him yawn make me almost yawn. That's how you know it's contagious. I haven't spoken a word. Can you tell? I haven't spoken a word because I'm so, like, I'm in awe of the animation they did in the 40s. <laughs> I'm sorry. See, th th so you know that I've silenced this, you'll know that I'm like literally doing the music for you in order for you to be entertained regardless, because you know how it is. Uh, Disney, oh, little graphics, sir. I mean, I know that he had to put darkness in all of his movies, but sometimes Disney goes to the extremes to show the darkness and the light of situations. <laughs> They're just flooding the entire building. Wait a minute. That makes no sense. Okay, never mind. I'll shut up. It's magic, Geo. It's not supposed to make sense. Impressive. Got rid of all of it. The brooms and the water. There you go. Thirty seconds. This is my favorite one in the entire segment. This one entirely. I love this one so much. Oh, there he is. Oh, Daisy. Oh, well, yeah. No, Donald. The sun is gone now. For sure. The Great Flood is literally happening. Wait, was that a dragon, a unicorn, and a... What, what was the other one? That was weird. Is 
see, they they both thought they died in the flood. Uh, that was like quadruple the amount of weight he needed to get killed, basically. Really? Really? You guys are on the same platform and you still didn't see each other? Really? Donald's about to find it. Aww. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting emotional. Leave me alone. Donald and Daisy are definitely a very well-known loved couple. Besides Mickey and Minnie, they deserve a lot of, a lot of attention as well. <laughs> Equal amounts of attention. Also, Angela Lansbury was the last announcer, really? You can't you can't miss it. You can't not know. You can you double negative, you can't not know. Angela Lansbury, come on. This is my second favorite. I love the music in this one. I think of Bambi when I see this. It's the animation. Yeah, definitely reminds me of Bambi. A little bit of Brother Bear, too. Speaking of that, that's gonna be coming up on the channel. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, isn't she beautiful? She's like a mixture of Pocahontas and Mulan. Maybe even Rapunzel. Like all three of them in one one character. Yep. Exactly who I expected to be characterized here. Exactly. Literally. Oh sh I forgot that happened. <laughs> Very reminiscent to, um, what do you call it? Um, Night on Bald Mountain, which was from the original Fantasia. You know, the one with the devil, Chenerbog, coming out. Whew, that gave me the chills. He's like, I believe you. I believe you will get through this. Dang, he's actually giant. She's quite small, so that means this great stag is bigger than the average stag. Let's see it. Oh, I'm getting chills. Wow. This is reminiscent to Moana. See, I like that I could connect all these different Disney stories and all these movies to this one particular movie. Tefiti, right? She's got a lot of Tefiti vibes, for sure. Woo! <laughs> Left me in chills. Wow. I keep forgetting how short this movie was. Wow. Well, on that note, guys, we are going to um, pause this and talk about it. So that was Disney's Fantasia 2000. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing my thoughts on it. And it is definitely one of my favorite, you know, one of my favorites from the post-Renaissance era. And I'm glad we're starting this era because I'm really excited about it. I, there's so many movies in the post-Renaissance that I love that I all, well, bear in mind, I love the Renaissance more, but there's some good ones in the post-Renaissance that definitely need to take another viewing because it's been a minute and I'm excited to see these other movies that I haven't seen in a long time and a couple that I have not seen. Stay tuned to find out which ones. Uh, bear in mind, we are rebranding the channel. It's called Nostalgio now. I'm definitely going to make sure it's in the, uh, what do you call it, the header? You know, the first thing you'll see in the header is my name with the new brand name called Nostalgio. And bear in mind, we are going to continue this trip of nostalgia. And that's what our channel is known for, is to bring nostalgia back to everyone's souls. And that's all I want for everyone, to just like relive their nostalgia in the best way possible. So 
here we are! <laughs> and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button, and please hit that notification bell for future content. Social media will be in the description down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Catch you later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.